different look for the scouting report this week. We're visiting with Coach Mike Taylor. Big game coming up, Mike. Are, are, are your young kids ready for this? Our young kids, our, our older kids, they're all, all the kids are, are, are taking this as, as another opportunity to uh, play football and, and they're preparing themselves and, and I think they're ready. You've got a fine line between making it a big deal and spooking them and all that. How, how did did you low key this? Did you treat that? Did you want to treat this like any other week, or, or did did you want them to feel that this was special? Uh, it's kind of a hard 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 question to ask because we're going to stay in our routine. We're going to do things the same way that we've prepared all all the time. Uh, every every game's a big game, and and we tell them. You know, this is the this game is the biggest game you've ever played, and you know we've we've done that week after week, and and what what happens this week sets up what we do next week, and uh, it happens to be this week just happens to be for for a little bit more uh, there's a little bit more on the line here uh, with it being a a conference title on the line, and uh, the kids the kids are making it you know all business, and they're they're preparing themselves like they do every other week, and. And it's going to be fun. They can't wait, and neither can we. There is a certain thing about the gold helmets when they walk out there. There, there, there is a mystique about about the gold helmets. Would, would you agree with that? Yes, uh, they've got a, they've got a great program. They've uh, they've got a great tradition. It's you know one of the big things for us is is overcoming. I don't I don't want to say that at, you know you you see it. There's there's a little intimidation there. Because of the of the tradition of the program, the success that they have, and and the desire to to get to that level, um, now they're where they're. You know, they they can see that they're that they're close, and uh, they can't wait. Have they have, have your kids surprised you? I, I I don't I don't know that that if coaches go through and circle games and say we we should be seven and zero going into week eight. But but ha, have they have they surprised you the way the, the way they've grown up pretty quickly and 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 the way the veteran kids have have meshed in with it because we we kind of always forget about the veteran kids the the Haymes and the Odeleys the guys that have been around for a while we think about the younger guys but but it, it, it it's a good mesh and, and ha, have they exceeded your expectations, Mike? You know, I, I expect to win every ball game. Uh, you know, we we prepare to win every ball game. Uh, to say that we would be seven and zero at this time, uh, you know, is is a pleasant surprise for me. Uh, it's a pleasant pleasant surprise for the coaches. Uh, but we, you know, we think that you know our kids have the ability to be here, and we're happy that we are. And things have been, you know, we've had the ball bounce in our direction, and and uh, you know we've been fortunate to stay away from some of the injury bugs that others have not. Uh, you know, stayed away from, uh, but we're we're fortunate and we're happy to be here. Mark Grouse told me today that he read the stat that you guys had only turned the ball over now twice in seven games, and he he says that means that the kids everybody understands what they're supposed to do, and it's probably a pretty good testament to to what you and your coaches have done so far. Coach Sprague, uh, you know, he he's. If it's something that he doesn't know, he's he's got a network that he you know he's on the phone, he's talking to you know the guys that he's coached with at all different levels, and and you know that list is you know can be a who's who of you know where they've been. Uh, he spends countless hours, and and you know he's a great teacher. Uh, you know some of the things we've done offensively is we've we've simplified some things. Uh, we try and keep everybody in their comfort zone, and and uh, you know things things are working. You ready for about 7,500 people to be watching you coach football this week? Well, I, I, I coached in the Fort Lauderdale area uh, a number of years ago, and, and you know some of the, some of that has prepared me for some of this, and, and uh, I, I, it's exciting football for everybody, and, and I I can't wait, and I know they can't wait, and, and uh, you know it's a good program against a, an up and coming program, and, it, and it's one where it's going to be fun for everybody involved. Chicago Bears Coach of the Week last week too. Congratulations Thank on you. that. That's going to be a, Thank you. that's a nice thing for you and your program to get recognized statewide. Yes, and, and you know, it, John Oakes called me the, the morning after it was in the in the newspaper, and he said, you know, you're in some good company. Make sure you take advantage of all the things that that uh, that go along with it. I know Coach Alberson uh, had this honor a number of years ago, and and Kenny Leonard did, and and John Oakes has, and and. Uh, 
you know, we get to go to a game and that kind of stuff, but we also get to go to a practice and deal with, you know, the pre, pre-practice, pre you know, with the coaches and, and the post-practice things and, and those organizational type things, and that's, that's the kind of stuff I really am looking forward to. That's the Scouting Report from Springfield High. More from SHG later on.